Oh shit. It's a fucking cheap thing. Hey guys, Tigger here. Day 27. It's November 20th. Made the main junction. Damn. Willard Gap. Appalachian Trail North is down there. Vermont Trail North is that way. 18 Long Trail that way. There's another trail over there. It's beautiful out here. It's a winter wonderland, as you can see. It's gorgeous out here. So I'll be, I'll be heading up that way. Got about 24, 25 miles till I get to um, Middlebury Bowl. Spent the last couple of days hanging out with some friends, recharging. Just getting my mental, uh, my mind straight. Eating a lot of food. They fed me like crazy. I want to say thank you to them. I had such a, I had such a good time. I had so much fucking fun. But yeah, I'm gonna take my time. I need to, I need to slow down. I'm not in a race. Um, I'm gonna give myself actually till Friday to get up to the North Country Trail. So that's three days to go 20 something miles. So I'm just gonna. Enjoy the beauty that's out here right now. It's just, it's amazing right now. It's so quiet. Everything's coated and a little bit of snow, a little bit of ice, you know, it's just, it's gorgeous. So, you know, I'm still out here, still doing it. I should be on the North Country Trail by Friday. Uh, probably be in Middlebury, the actual city, Saturday. And then uh, moving on into New York. So I'll definitely be in New York before December 1st. So that's exciting. So, thank you everybody. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's day 28. So, Friday. I'm only like uh, eight miles from Middlebury Snowball. I didn't film at all yesterday. Yesterday was, yesterday was one of those emotional roller coaster days. Um, the long trail was just so beat up. Like, I was only doing like one mile an hour. So, we shot Nazmuth off that, got down onto um, the Catamount cross country ski trail. I don't know how many miles I did yesterday. I think it was only supposed to be 18. I probably did like 20. Um, I made some bad decisions because of. Um, just exhaustion and frustration. Um, I was soaking wet. I was cold. I got to camp. I called while well, Karen actually called me last night. She said she could feel something was wrong. I was just, I was done. I was so done. Uh, supposed to be more rain today. So, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'm definitely going to get to Middlebury Snowball or Middlebury Gap. And uh, I make the call. I might just, uh, that'd be like where the beginning of the NCT is. So, I might go home for the holidays and then uh, get back on trail early spring and uh, do the through hike of the NCT. At least hike as long as I can. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be filming today either on the trail. It's just supposed to be, it's nasty out there. It was freezing rain all night last night. So I need to get packed up. I need to get going. I got like three hours before it's supposed to start raining again. So it's just uh, the wet and the cold is... Um, It's a, it's a mental, a mental mind fuck, you know. I knew it was going to be that way. But knowing it's going to be cold and wet and being in it for well, almost a month now is um, two different things. So, I'll make the call as I'm walking. Figure out what I'm gonna do. But, uh, I haven't given up yet. I think I'm just gonna, right now, I kinda just wanna go home for the holidays and stuff for Thanksgiving and Christmas and reset myself, figure out what I'm gonna do. Probably, um, it'd be nice to have a much lighter back and lighter gear.
but we haven't given up on it yet. Appreciate our guys' support, and uh, I'll let you know what happens. Bye. Hey guys, just want to give you a quick update. It's Sunday the 24th. Um, I actually got off trail Friday, got to Middlebury. Um, I decided that after a pretty bad three days, mentally and physically, with the weather and everything, and just my mental state, uh, to go home for the holidays. Uh, so I will be getting back on trail, and I did make it to the eastern terminus of the North Country Trail and then out to Middlebury. Uh, that section right there is, it's honestly a horrible extension. It's, um, it's basically a two lane highway the whole time. There's maybe a foot and a half on the edge you can walk and it's a little over 30 miles to get to Middlebury. So I get it. That's where they were allowed to go, I guess, but it's not a good extension to get out to the Appalachian Trail and the Lawn Trail right there at the uh, snowball. Uh, it's not safe for hikers, honestly. Uh, people flying up and down that road is crazy. But I did get there. Um, so Fridays when I got there, uh, Snowball was actually closed. I did get down to Middlebury. Um, got to get it. Well, I got to get the Snowball and get warmed up and everything. They weren't even taking guests or anything. Um, so I got the, the through hike of the New England Trail done, from uh, including the Eastern Extension. So it's like 230 something miles. Uh, the 60 something miles from Royalston Falls to the Lawn Trail Corridor via the IP Road um, and some rail trails that I found, some really nice rail trails. They were, they were actually very awesome. Got to see a lot of lawn bridges and stuff. And then I got through the Lawn Trail Corridor up to Middlebury Bowl, which was, it was tough. Um, the snow was fairly deep, a lot of ice, uh, kept getting, I don't know, I, I know with the weight of the tree, the branch, the weight of the ice and snow on the branches and stuff, it weighs down the trees and they get over the trail. But it, it was ridiculous. There were blowdowns everywhere. Um, I lost trail probably. It seemed like every 10 or 15 minutes. I'd look around like, all right, now where the hell am I? I'd pull my phone out again. Uh, but I hopped around. I got to experience some other trails I didn't do when uh, I threw like, the, through, like, the Appalachian Trail in 17. So I got to get off trail a little bit. And I just wanted to stay in the Lawn Trail Corridor. That got me to where I needed to be. But uh, the last three days of it, particularly Thursday, um, was tough. I, it was ridiculous. As you saw in my morning video, um, I even got my days wrong on what day I was out there on trail, like the amount of days and stuff. But it was, there was a point where I just couldn't take another step. And uh, I was just physically and emotionally drained. And uh, luckily, my wife, she felt like something was wrong. She called right at that, that moment. And she's the wiser one. So I set up my tent, got some water, and stayed there for the night. But then the freezing rain came in, uh, which I would have got caught in anyways. So, I mean, everything I had was wet. Um, you know, the condensation in the tent, even though I had it all opened up and stuff. Uh, so it was tough. Um, so I made the call. I'm glad I did it. Uh, I got home what, like 5.30 yesterday evening. Um, flight was a little expensive because of Thanksgiving week and everything, but it was still worth it. Uh, I'm going to get back on trail in Middlebury probably, I'm hoping like early March. Uh, I'll catch a little bit of cold weather, then it'll start warming up. And uh, I'm gonna be taking my best friend with me. I've got my uh, my Malamute. I'm gonna take with me Akila. He loves being out in the woods, and I love being around. He makes me feel like a child. As long as I'm having fun, I'll keep going. It's, it got to where I wasn't having fun. It was definitely a lonely hike. There weren't the only time I saw people was possibly on the weekends, and uh, when I went to town. Other than that, pure desolation out there, and the weather just. I mean, there was negative temperatures for like the last week and a half, two weeks at night. So uh, it was it was tough, and uh, I made the call. And actually, when I got in Middlebury, there was another. I was sitting at the bus stop waiting to take the bus up to Burlington, and there was another. Uh, there was a long trail through hiker doing a winter through hike, and he he said the same thing. He he got lost. We talked about the same section of the long trail. It was just it was anarchy out there. We he said he got lost for two or three hours a day, just kept on getting off trail and stuff. And 
Uh, he was actually going back to Rutland. And I believe he said he was going to go home for the holidays and then get back on trail. Um, and then a uh, guy I've been talking to, corrupted that's ahead of me. Well, he was ahead of me. He got into Pennsylvania. Um, unfortunately, because of family issues and the weather, he decided to go home for a little bit too. So he'll be getting back on trail. But yeah, it is, it's tough out there. Looking forward to getting out there and through hiking the NCT, especially with my best friend. It's going to be interesting. I've never done a hike that long with him. He's done uh, 90 miles on the Colorado Trail with my wife. And uh, she said he was amazing, but I worry about him a lot. You know, especially at night. What's he doing? Where is he at? You know, and he likes, he doesn't like to, he likes to wander around at night. But I'm looking forward to that. I'm still getting back on the trail. It's still on. I'm still doing the, uh, trying to make the, uh, the sound of planes route and uh i'll be seeing you guys out there thanks for the support and uh, i'll talk to you when i figure out exactly when i'm getting when i'm getting out there and what i'm planning to do talk to you later bye